Hey guys, it's Julie Salant. How are you? I'm your intuitive healer for your life and business and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. I am an intuitive healer. I am a channeler. I am a animal communicator and I speak with God, spirit, the universe, your ancestors, as well as archangels. And I am thrilled that you are here. I am doing, we do life path numbers on this channel, not zodiac signs. So we're a bit different. Uh, life path numbers, you get your life path number by your birthday. Um, and the way you do that is just to give you real quickly, mine, mine say October, you basically add up the numbers and then you get to the lowest common denominator. This is for life path number eight. Um, so I'm assuming that you have learned how to calculate your number, but let me just take, I'm, I'm in October. So that would be, that's 10 out of 12, right? Then in January to December. So you'd add one plus zero is one. And then my birthday is 25. So two plus five is seven. And then say I was 1983, it'd be one plus nine plus eight plus three. You add all those three numbers up and then you get to the lowest common denominator number. And this is for life path number eight. You guys are the power horses. Um, and I'd like to read just a little bit about what you basically, you know, a little bit of your attributes, just as a refresher. Uh, you guys love to learn about power and money, your challenges and finding the correct balance between achievement and philosophical inquiry. You mature quickly. You are a very good organizer and administrator. You are born with phenomenal strengths, um, which is why you must learn to use them quickly. You are basically like a gentle giant. You know, you're destined to be rich, um, but you will face many challenges along the way. You are very spiritual and empathic, and you are concerned about law and judgment. Um, your sole purpose is to help the world through government or business or building an empire. So you would be great in a career of business or politics or a lawyer. Um, and your shadow side lies in your ruthless search for success. So you're possessed by a desire for material things and earthly power, and you push yourself very hard to have it. So you guys are power horses. What I like to do is I like to start off just really quick, quickly with a channeling that I received. Um, and it was this, because I think this will apply to you. Control and resisting go hand in hand. When you resist, you actually call it towards you. To change this pattern, it's counterintuitive. It's like fear. You must honor it, accept it, and then it loses its power, right? So when you embrace the fear, it becomes nothing. When you embrace resistant, it's gone. So control and resisting go hand in hand. When you resist it, resist, you actually call it towards you. To change this pattern is counterintuitive. It's like fear. You must honor it, accept it, and then it loses its power. So the big word that I was getting for you guys is balance and harmony. So I, I pictured you, because I called in your archangel, your, I called in the archangels and I called in the ancestors. And what I was getting was, you have about eight balls that you have just kind of juggling. And your ancestors are saying, if one of those balls fall, they all fall. You're pushing yourself super, super hard to move forward in life. And you really want to achieve your goals, which is great. You want an empire. You want so much to change, but you're being super hard on yourself. And you're not achieving any sort of balance or harmony within yourself, which means that your life is kind of wonky is the right word. So if I look at the four cups, like I look at, you know, spiritually, physically, emotionally, um, psychically, every single cup needs to be full for you to get abundance and joy and happiness. If one of those cups is not full, they all are off out of alignment. And you've got eight balls in the air when most people have two or three. So that's commendable. But what your ancestors and spirit is telling me is that you need to think about chilling a little bit. Like it's counterintuitive, but if you chill out and you put a couple of those balls away, you'll be happier. You'll be less stressed out. They're basically telling me that your life is passing you by and you know it, but you're so in pursuit of what you want to happen it's a big trade-off. You don't get that time back and you're missing things that are important in your life. You know, this could be um, affecting your health. 
this could be affecting everything about you. When you have so many balls in the air, you have so much going on, it can leave you with feelings of, am I really gonna make it? I'm tired, I'm exhausted. This is too much for me. How much, how much longer can I keep doing this? So you've got to find some balance, right? In reaching your goals and really trying to figure out what it is you want to do. Um, I pulled four cards, four animal cards, you know, I'm an animal communicator. And the first one was elephant spirit. And elephant spirit says, learn from your past, right? Elephants are known for being, you know, wise, you know, memory like an elephant, right? And they're saying that you have dropped the balls before and you have had an imbalance and not a lot of harmony. And they're saying, remember how that was and going forward to really think about how you can make your life more harmonious, more balanced. What can you, what old thought patterns are not serving you or what patterns, what are you doing right now that's creating patterns that are not serving you going forward? You're not, you're not like, you're going so fast, you're not paying attention to any lessons. It's almost like you're just like forward and that's good. But if you took a little time, you'd get there actually faster and it'd be easier for you. The path would be easier. Um, the second one I got was giraffe spirit and it says, see the big picture. How appropriate, right? So giraffes, we know are so tall. They have a different perspective than us humans do because they're so much bigger than we are. They see things we could never see coming. And the big picture is, to slow down, to speed up. That's the big picture. One, you'll be happier. Two, it'll be easier for you. And they're saying, they're saying to really ask yourself this question. How can this be easy? There are some of you out there that think that being successful and really getting what you want has to be hard. Like you were brought up to think this has to be hard or else I'm not worthy and I won't, I won't get there. And that's not true. Jeff is saying that there's a lot that should be easy for you. If you would only see it that way, it's a shift in perspective. Start asking yourself the question, you know, how could this be easy for me? The next one was canary spirit. And if you're on audio, you can't see, but it's a beautiful yellow canary with a, a gorgeous crown on its head. And as we know, canaries sing beautifully. And it says, sing your own song. There are many of you out there right now that are, How can I say this? I'll just say it. You are not living your life for yourself. You are people pleasing and doing what somebody else wants you to do. And Canary Spirit's coming in today to say, sing your own song, be who you are. There is somebody out there that's so talented at writing and somebody else is so talented at drawing and you put it on the back burner because people told you, how can you make a living at that? You know, you need to work nine to five or you need to do something else. Be, be practical, be sensible. And spirits saying, those are gifts I gave you. You can have a living at that. You can be paid great sums of money for your work, but you must believe and open the door first in your, for yourself. Sing your own song. You know, I gotta tell you something. What I'm doing right now by putting myself on camera and sharing my gifts with you I fought this for a year and a half. Spirit kept saying to me, you need to do this. I want you to channel. I want you to do this on camera. And I kept saying, no, I don't wanna do this, I'm scared. It's very out of my comfort zone, no matter what it looks like. And I got all up in my head. And then I thought, it's not me, it's the, it's the message. Some of you are the same way. You're, you've been prompted for a long time to do something special that only you can do. And you keep saying, no, no, I don't want to do it right now. No, I'll get to it later. No, I got to make money now. And there is no, this is not dress rehearsal. This is life. It's happening. Have courage to sing your own song. The last one was dove spirit. I've got a beautiful white dove and we all know it says be, be at peace, right? If you are people pleasing, if you are not doing what you truly wanna do with your life, 
something needs to change. You need to change. And being at peace and being harmonious is worth its weight in gold. You can't put a price on that. And you can make a lot of money singing your own song, doing what you're here to do and not people pleasing others and see the big picture, see that for what it is, right? Harmony, balance, happiness, and learn from your past mistakes. If you've had eight belts, you know, if you've been juggling so much and you've been pushing yourself so hard, then you got sick, learn from that. Don't repeat that cycle when you don't have to. You know your limits. You know, I used to work two jobs and I worked myself into like pneumonia. And I was so sick for like a week and a half. I wanted to die. Like literally, that's how sick I was. And, you know, I was like, you know what? I can't do this. I can only work one job. I'm an empath. I'm very sensitive. And I couldn't do it. And I realized I can't make that mistake again. And you're this, you should be the same way. You've got to know your limits. You will get to where you want to go. But, but let's make it fun and easy, right? I, I actually, this, I do different readings with different decks. So I, and I don't read cards. The cards just guide me because it's a lot of this is intuitive channeling that's happening behind the scenes, but I do have lessons from the moon, lessons from the fixed stars, lessons from the universe. And I also have one for Egyptian astrology and I got Amon Ra and it says confident, determined, and polite. And I always thought that that was like amazing for you guys, because being confident and determined is what you are, what you have. Are you always polite? And that's not a dig at you. I'm saying that because you have so much power and people see your power. You know, you probably can walk into a room and people like feel your vibration of power. So when you come off as wanting something and you're getting kind of pushy and aggressive, for some people, they don't care and they don't mind, but for other people who are sensitive, that can come off as very pushy and aggressive. So it's just saying, you don't have to tone yourself down or be different, but just be cognizant of your power. You know, so many people, we all have power and what you're putting out into the world, you have to realize people feel that, animals feel that energy. So recognize that you do have power and you're pushing it out into the world, right? Um, for the for the moon healing, I got two. And the first one I chose, I got snow moon. So it's like beautiful picture. If you can't see on audio, I'll, I'll describe it for you. It's a beautiful full moon in the snow with the tree. And, on, you know, we've got just the snow on the ground. It says renewal and embrace the new light. A new light for you is a new way of being. And the new way of being is counterintuitive. And the counterintuitive is to work on balance and harmony. Slow down to speed up, be gentle with yourself, be gracious with yourself. And the other one was the super moon. Huge, huge, beautiful moon over water. And it says improve relationships and emotions. This will happen when you slow down. Again, it's talking about emotions. And I keep, I keep getting this from your ancestors and they're saying, we push ourselves because we had to. You don't have to push so hard. Start living your life. Otherwise you're gonna end up and you're gonna be older and you're gonna say, what happened? I wasted all that time. Yes, you made money and you could have even built an empire and you could be super wealthy, but are you happy? Did you do what made you happy? You can't put a price on harmony. You can't put a price on love. You can't put a price on health. Pay attention to your house, your body. Some of you guys are not working out. You're not eating right. You're just working, working, working. Like I am. <laughs> I take my own advice. For your fixed stars, I got Gaina, G-I-E-N-A-H, on the raven's wing, and it shows a beautiful raven in the night with the moon behind it flying. And it says, connect to nature, spread your wings, release gentle and harmonic energy. I can't make this up. Ravens, as many of you know, are transformational beings. I love ravens. I connect with them all the time. If you don't know, ravens are super smart. They know words. They 
don't forget patterns, they don't forget faces, and they are the transformers, they are bringers of life and death in the spiritual realm. Connect to nature, spread your wings, release gigantic, gentle and harmonic energy. The more time you can spend in nature, go to the beach, play in the snow, be near trees, woods, the happier you'll be. You need to just find some balance. You cannot work 22 hours a day, get two hours of sleep and do it again. Um, for the two cards I got for the planets, I got Make Make, M-A-K-E, M-A-K-E, never heard of this one. It looks like a huge um, moon, but it's brown. And it says, love of nature, grounded, profound con connection to nature. Again, reinforcing nature is important to you and you guys are ignoring it. I'm called to tell you that a lot of you are practicing time negativity, negatively consciousness, not time abundance consciousness. You were brought up to say, I don't have, there's not enough time to do everything I need to do. I don't have enough time to do what I need to do today. How am I going to do this? I'm the same way. I'm working on time abundance consciousness. It's a thing. And one of my good friends teaches about this. And you need to say, that's just an old pattern that doesn't serve you. Again, when I went back to the elephant spirit, right? Learn from the past. Look at your patterns. What's not serving you? Chances are you can get rid of them. Your profound connection to nature will help you slow down. And with Pluto, the other one, purging, releasing, letting go, brings revelation and clarity. When you slow down, a lot will come up that you don't want to deal with. You may be rushing and working so much because you don't want to face things. I'm the same way. But just know that it's important that you do release and look at things. It's part of your soul's journey. It might be painful for a minute, but again, again, it's like what I was saying, what God was telling me, spirit was telling me in the beginning, what I channeled for you which was troll and resisting go hand in hand. When you resist, you actually call it towards you. To change this pattern, it's counterintuitive. It's like fear. You must honor it, accept it, and then it loses its power. Anything in your life that you, that you are trying to control or that you're resisting, if you're putting yourself in your work, and thinking it's just going to go away. It's not going to go away. It's never going to just go away. You can release it, let go. It will bring you revelation and clarity. And the last one, the message from the universe I got was the black hole. You know how the black hole sucks everything into it? And it says, heavy thoughts on the mind, mystical void, magnetic pull into the unknown. This I look at as not negative, but positive for you. And the reason why you have heavy thoughts But if you're being pulled into the unknown, look at it as a challenge and something fun, not something negative. You know, some of you are trying to control so much that life is not fun anymore. Life is supposed to be about surprises, you know, like make it fun. A lot of you were told um, that things need to be hard to be successful. That's just not true. Ask yourself this question. How could it be fun and easy for me? How could it be fun? All right, guys. So this was life path number eight. I hope you like this. I'm so happy that you're hopefully digging the content. Let me know what you think about the stars, the universe, and what I'm doing with the animal cards. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let people know about my, my station because I'm just kind of getting it going here. I value you all. I thank you for watching from the bottom of my heart. I, I love you all. and I'm here to help you. Leave me a comment. I read at each and every one. I totally respond to all of you. Um, if you would like a reading, there'll be a link in below. If you'd like an animal reading, I can do that as well for you, even if your animal is passed on. And um, very shortly, I'm going to be putting together a four-week course. It's going to be on finding your gifts, what they are, how to use your gifts, and then be in alignment and finding your soul's mission. And I'm going to put this sign up, up within the next two days. So if you're into that, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And Take care. I'll talk to you soon.